Now, the website builder would include a template where you can put different sections on your website. Uh, basically, if you see a circle with a plus sign like this one, you can click on it and choose additional custom sections uh, on your website. These sections allow you to put uh, specialized content into your website. Like say, for example, you want to add like a COVID-19 response section on your website. Or say, for example, you want to add a video on your website. There are sections that allow you to do that. Um, so these sections on specialized content allow you to also add like calls to action, just like what Ash uh, mentioned earlier. Uh, you can add these buttons or videos or even links to sections on your website so that people can explore your website some more. Now, calls to actions are very important in a website so that to make sure that your visitor are going to stay and engage with your website far longer. Uh, a successful online website is one that you can keep your visitors clicking and exploring the different pages, as well as turn them into returning customers. So one section that you can use to engage customers in your business is through online appointments. Now, in many kinds of service-based businesses, uh, you have like customers inquiring about how they can be able to avail of your services and create and uh, set up an appointment so that they can visit you. Now, in some businesses, you do that by, say, email or texting or send or even calling the, the business themselves. Websites plus marketing can make the whole process so much easier by allowing your website to accept online appointments. So in this template that we're using right now, there is built-in section for online appointments. You can click on Get Started so you can start entering uh, an online appointment into your website. So it goes to a different section. And here you can be able to add a service into your, uh, your website. So by adding a service, you can be able to set up an online appointment. So say for example, our online appointment is one for pet consultation. So uh, once the section for online appointments have loaded, you can put the service name. So a pet consultation, and let's say you can set up details like how long it's going to be. Is there a category that service is going to be under? You can put a description of what that service is going to be. You can even accept payments onto that particular service. So say, for example, this is going to be like 500 pesos for one hour. Uh, you can also indicate like, is this going to be an online session? or is it going to be uh, on the customer's location or a business location? You can even indicate like which staff of your business is going to be accepting that kind of uh, appointment. So one more thing, you want to add a picture, of course. So let's say we're going to add a picture into our online appointment and I'm gonna choose another picture over here, maybe a picture of a vet. And as you can see, I'm just dragging and dropping the pictures from my file manager. And once I dr drop it, it will automatically upload the picture and I can start inserting it into my online appointment. So now that I have the service added here, I can save it. And I can go back to my website. Click on edit site over here. And take a look at the preview of what my, my website would look like with that online appointment. So if I scroll down, the online appointment should be included here already pretty soon once I publish all of the changes made in the website. Mm -hmm.